Josh Feuerstein here looking ah. just mad as hell, but I'm mad as hell, and I'll tell you why. A Florida school district has just voted to allow a satanic temple to pass voted? out dumb They just voted. He does, oh. he does have a strange way of speaking. God, they have just Josh voted. Feuerstein here. Yeah. He almost sounds like he should be a wrestling manager. <laughs> yeah. He's At least he has a fallback career. Yeah, if this whole Jesus freak thing doesn't work out for him. Hey, it worked out for Jesus freak. That's true. Well, no, it didn't. <laughs> I know. Jesus freak is obscure as fuck at this point. I know. I remember back in the day when Jesus freak and I were like on even footing and I yeah, watched his video. What would people do if they had an Jesus freak? And then he'd get on. Remember that one where he like digged into his fucking finger with like a, a, yeah. a drill bit? He's like, yeah. yeah, this symbolizes Jesus somehow. <laughs> I don't know. He was a weird dude. <laughs> He's still making videos, I think. You, should, you, you gotta be joking. We should have him on sometime. Yeah, get Jesus uh, Freak on here. He's... He's captivating and exciting. I remember the time that he was like talking about like we have this local chain around here. We had, no, no, you didn't say chain. We had this local restaurant around here in Chicago. I don't know if you guys have heard of his Applebee's. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, uh, where? Huh? Have you never like literally? Dude, left Chicago people in other countries know how, about Applebee's simply because they know how bad it is by hearing about it from Americans. And haven't you seen like there's like commercials? For Applebee's, that it's pretty clear it's a national chain, you know? Like, you see that on TV all the time. Anyway, back to this fuck. No. Okay. All right, go ahead. Demonic coloring books and playbooks to the children in their schools. Look, Think there of is the a children. war that's being waged for souls, and finally, our children are in the crossfire. You see, for a crossfire. long time, under the passive banner of political correctness, we have given inch after inch after inch, and now Wait finally, that inch has become... But the reason that the satanic people were able to hand out the satanic coloring books and all that shit was because laws that Florida passed to um, allow Christians to do that sort of thing. The Satan, the, like they're not, I, mean, I don't even know if these are real Satanists. I think these are just people making a political statement about the way that the religious right keeps passing like laws that enable religion to become uncomfortably entangled with government what is real satanism anyway you know what i mean like, well i mean i'm just saying like i don't i don't know if these people are actual satanists or, yeah. i just i think that most of them are, pro are are actually just like uh they're doing it as like a satire basically yeah. i think it's great they're doing it just to show like okay if you want this christian shit in schools we're just going to put this other shit in schools yeah because they can't pass a law that says well we can do this religious stuff but only christian stuff because that is you know favoring one religion which, of course, they claim they don't want. Yeah, but it's cool because it opens the door for people to do stuff like this. But Josh Fierstein is totally leaving that out. Like, he's just acting like somehow the Satanists have done this. But, in fact, it was people who think more like him that did this, that enabled this to happen. So, fuck him. Come a mile, and now Satanists are being allowed to hand our children lollipops filled with razor blades. And my question is, do we care? Do we care to do something about it? You see, it is that we are one nation under God. Whether you like it or not, it's printed on our money, it's <laughs> sung in our anthems, and written into our laws. And I realize that for a long time, there's people that have wanted God out of our schools. But now it's become quite obvious that they want God out so that Satan could walk in. And you know what I'm tired of? I'm, ta I'm tired of pansy, passive, limp-wristed Christians uh, who believe that we should just turn the other cheek. Well, maybe you haven't read wait. the part of the Bible where Jesus... Hold on. Maybe, wait, maybe you haven't read the part of the Bible where Jesus says exactly to do that. It's like, I'm tired of these Christians that want to turn the other cheek. That's in the Bible. So they shouldn't listen to their Bible, is what he's saying. You shouldn't listen to Jesus. Listen to this fat fuck. He is. He kind of looks like a fat Jesus, though. He's got a beard. He's got the Jesus. Jesus beard, I just see of. fat Fred Durst. I think it's the hat. Yes. yes. Jesus flips over tables and whips people. And now under the banner of political correctness, well, I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm not politically correct. I'm just correct. Well, let's you say, see, because we live in a day and an age. He's not politically correct. He's just correct. Yeah, he stole that from Ralphie May. But anyway, um, 
the thing the thing about the, the funny thing about that is that Jesus when he went and and tore open and and you know started flipping tables and whipping people that was because people were trying to turn religion into a for-profit game which is exactly his modus operandi so apparently he needs to study his scripture a little more closely age in which a kid wears a Jesus t-shirt and he gets suspended if kids want to pray in schools they get kicked out they no they don't read their Bible. bullshit yeah, yeah that that is such I bullshit I, I love shit. these fucking Christians that create this alternate reality where prayer has been banned from schools like it hasn't they all feel persecuted they have a persecution complex the only thing that's been banned is teacher led prayer or school led prayer and a lot of schools still just violate that they find ways around it like we're not going to pray, but we're going to have a moment of silent reflection. And in that time, you can choose to pray. But, I mean, like, you're still allowed to pray in school. You're still, like, there's, you they even have, most public schools have Bible study clubs and shit like that. And yet, these Christians are still able to convince a huge swath of their uh, base that, oh, prayer is been banned in schools and you know if a child brings a bible to a school they're likely to be expelled that's not and no people just sit way. there and believe this that's shit. not Total true nonsense. at all and now we wonder why there's so many school shootings well think about oh, it it's whoa, because we legislated wow. god out of our schools and now we're allowing satanists this to walk the in the front door you see i don't think we would have to pass out as many bibles in i have prison. a question if uh, if God could prevent the shootings in the schools, why didn't he prevent the molestations in the churches? Oh, that's because Catholics aren't real Christians. Oh, that's right. I forgot the G-Man yeah. thing. They're not yeah. real Christians anyway. But they're more, it's, more, it's more than just Catholics that are always molesting uh, the kids. Mostly though. Catholics, though. Mostly. Mostly, yeah. Mostly sure. the Catholics. I'd say, like, in the 90th percentile. Well, dude, Protestant, Protestant like, preachers and stuff can all just have wives. Or, you know, whatever. I mean, obviously, if they're in the closet, they could probably still get it because they could just, you know, do whatever. Whereas, yeah. like, Catholic priests, like, you really don't have that opportunity. Come here, little Billy. I'm going to show you Jesus' magic wand. What was it? Uh, Jesus juice? I that think. was Yeah, that was Michael Jackson's yeah, thing. Get some Jesus juice. You need to take you some of the Jesus juice. You're being ignorant. ignorant. You're being ignorant, blanket. You're being ignorant. <laughs> If we were allowed to pass them out in school. So here's my question. Do you care enough to do anything about it? No. Really? No. I think that, that it's about time for a few people to get a little bit of hard nosed and to put their foot down and draw a line in the sand and say, we're not backing up any farther. How do you do that? Well, you do it by clicking share on this video and raising awareness. We're going to be putting out a petition. <laughs> by as enriching well as me, you fucking do this. And numbers of people that you can call to get active but let's share this video and get the word out you know what i'm tired of christians that have been passive for far too long it's time for us to get loud and it's time for us to bring righteousness back to america and get satanist out of our schools so make sure to click share like and comment below if yeah, you're not a uh, part of this movement how do you think yet, we feel as atheists the, the, uh, the uh, uh when and christianity and, and creationism is taught in schools like the, the, the you know give me a break yeah, I mean, and it, it's like, uh, and, it, and it's not even being taught in schools. This is just a coloring book. It's not like they're like t they're teaching children like Satan rules, and even if they fucking are, so what? <laughs> it's their fucking fault that this is the fucking case to begin with. And he totally, I, I mean, I gave him some time to mention that. He did not mention that throughout the entire. Of course, video. this guy is not going to mention that. And that's pretty much the end of his video, right there. Right, but the thing I love is like. Us Christians in America need to start standing up, and I'm like, uh, you guys pretty much already do that. You guys are one of the most forceful fucking groups in America that are always shoving shit down everyone's throat. By the way, uh, Galen sent us a message and said that, uh, Scotty, that you're turning into Ed McMahon. I don't know what he means by that, but just thought I'd pass that along. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Scotty. Jesus, Jesus man. Da, 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 da. Show uh show him the hey, TJ. Evolution bitch. <laughs> da, 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 da. That's pretty awesome. <laughs>